In the early 1950s, Liberia, Africa's first and oldest modern republic, was a thriving economy with the second highest rate of economic growth in the world. Not surprisingly, there was a need for more power to support this growing demand. Being rich in hydrological resources, the nation looked to its rivers. Construction of the Mount Coffee hydropower plant began in 1964 and was completed in 1967 with an initial capacity of 30 megawatts in power output. The plant was dedicated to President William Todman and additional 34 megawatts were installed by 1973 for a total capacity of 64 megawatts. Mount Coffee became a symbol of Liberia's prosperity. For more than 25 years, Monrovia and neighboring counties enjoyed hydroelectricity. Then came the Civil War in 1990. Rebel forces seized the plant and forced it to shut down. Heavy rains caused the reservoir level to increase, eventually spilling over the dam and washing away an entire section of the dam wall. Over time, the powerhouse and the transmission and distribution lines were ransacked. With no hydroelectric dam and with the rest of its grid infrastructure in ruins, Liberia had no government-provided electricity, and most people lived in darkness. When the dust settled after the civil crisis, an internationally renowned woman was elected president and many Liberians looked to her as a beacon of hope. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, known as the Iron Lady, made the restoration of Liberia's energy sector a top priority. We must meet our commitment to restore some measure of electricity to our capital city. We must put Liberians back to work again. She brought together a consortium of donors to undertake an emergency power program. In 2007, with just 2 megawatts of diesel generators, LEC was revived and started commercial operation with 450 customers and a row of streetlights for the first time since the war. The president coined the phrase, small light today big light tomorrow to describe this initiative. We have kept part of the promise as we turn on these lights. And we know that working together, to use the same worn out phrase, small lights today, big lights tomorrow. By 2011, Madame Sirleaf was together with the government's own funds, able to garner the support of Norway Germany and the European Investment Bank to fund the rehabilitation of the Mount Coffee plant. The Millennium Challenge Corporation joined as a project funder in 2015. Manitoba Hydro International, heading the project implementation unit, undertook the task of managing the project. First, they contracted the owner's engineer, a joint venture of Norplan and Fishner, who began the design and procurement of the construction works. Voigt, a company specializing in hydroelectric generation, was awarded a contract for the construction of the turbines and generators. Andrews came in to rehabilitate the spillway gates and hydraulic steel works. Darnus did the early civil works and they later took on the task of rehabilitating the dam. The National Contracting Company was awarded the substation works and Elta Networks, the transmission lines. PSM, a joint venture of PAEG, Sigma Group, and Mamba Point Hotel, was awarded the Camp Construction and Services contract. The work started in January 2014 following a groundbreaking ceremony presided over by Madame Sirleaf. The first task in January 2014 were the construction of temporary dams to keep the water out of the powerhouse and prepare it for rehabilitation. Voigt came in to lift the spillway gates 
so that the river could flow freely again. Once the water was out of the powerhouse, they were able to confirm the design of the generating equipment. Later that year in August, Liberia was hit by one of the deadliest viruses known to mankind, Ebola. It brought a halt to the construction and for the next eight months, all works in Liberia had to be stopped. Though the important work of manufacturing the turbines, generators, and other systems continued overseas. Then in May of 2015, Liberia was declared Ebola free and there was jubilation across the country. The country had experienced huge losses from the crisis, but the dream to restore electricity would not die. Having lost a year of productivity, the contractors revived the hydroelectric project. Rain or shine, day and night, the work continued. Construction of a staff camp by PSM got underway, and Andres began reinforcing and repairing the spillway gates. The intake gates and penstocks were refurbished, ready to receive water from the St. Paul River. The turbine pits were rebuilt to accommodate the larger and more efficient turbines. In order to build it back up from scratch, Danus prepared the ground in the section of the dam that was washed away. They also rebuilt the unpaved portion of Cadwell Road which provided huge benefits for the communities living in the area of the hydro plant. In 2016, Etel began erecting towers and stringing cables that would subsequently transfer the power from the hydro plant to Bushard Island substation. Meanwhile, LEC worked on expanding the distribution network in Monrovia, getting residents ready to receive electricity. By October 2016, Andres had achieved operation of seven of the spillway gates, which meant that the reservoir could be filled again. Suddenly, the communities living on its banks had a fertile fishing ground, and the project erected bridges and coverings and provided boats to communities to ensure access routes around the reservoir would be maintained. By mid-November 2016, for the first time in over 25 years, Intake Gate 1 was raised. Water from the powerful St. Paul River made its way into the powerhouse to commence the wet testing of Turbine 1 in preparation for generating electric power for the first time with the new equipment. The team was elated to find that the first unit had been assembled so precisely that the initial performance test far exceeded expectations. After nearly five years, the Mount Coffee hydro plant is set to deliver clean energy to Monrovia from its first of four 22 megawatt turbines. That is more electricity than the people of Monrovia are presently consuming. And that is only one fourth of the output that Mount Coffee will be capable of delivering by the time the plant is finished in August of 2017. Though much remains to be done, over 80% of the construction works have been achieved in order to reach the milestone of first power. It is a notable achievement that the project was able to adhere to the fast track schedule to which the project stakeholders team committed themselves. The differences seen at Mount Coffee in the last 18 months are incredible. Life has been difficult for Liberians who have limited access to electricity. Many local businesses cannot operate at night and many families rely on candlelight to see. Others struggle to run costly fuel generators to power their homes and businesses, creating fumes that are harmful to people and the general environment. After many challenges, Residents of Monrovia are now poised to reap the benefits of the Iron Lady's promise to rebuild the hydropower plant. The ability to deliver clean hydroelectricity represents a big step forward in Liberia's rising. Cheaper energy translates into job creation and economic growth. 
No longer will LEC rely solely on costly diesel fuel generators to provide Liberia with electricity. With lower tariffs, more customers can afford great power. The momentous occasion of First Power represents just the beginning. In 8 months time, all 4 turbines are expected to be completed. The construction of the regional transmission line will get underway. And LEC will continue to extend its transmission lines across the country to carry electricity beyond Monrovia. The big light has come today and Liberia's future is bright. Getting it on my promise and I come to pass. So my light yesterday, big light today. Getting it on my promise and I come to pass. So my light yesterday, big light today. Getting it on my promise and I come to pass. Hey, hey, I see it. My people, hey, I see it. Ah, hey, I see it. My coffee hydro is here. The thing is here to make everybody smile. The thing is here to make everybody happy. Children was telling last thing on the street lights. Mama was saying I get on the street lights. So my light yesterday, hey, big light today. Hey, the thing is on my promise and I can't.